most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Well, it looks like we found a new level of the Hope Roof. I've never seen before. Huh. Oh, oh. more interesting stuff it seems. Where did they have this? Oh there's nothing here. Huh. Yeah well. Why would we care if someone went in here? Huh. Alright so we're just on the road that's going to the Alamo and it's kind of you can see obviously there was an added here because uh <laughs> There's no other reason that water would be running out of the bank like that, so it looks like there's some mining stuff up here and we took a hike up there and we found an at it, so it goes under a tree. I don't know how far we're gonna get in there, but let's have a look. So now the weird thing about this at it, you wouldn't think it could be that big, you know, uh, because there's no oil race wort waste rock here. But the thing is it's just above the road, so it could have been years ago that they push this stuff down and they use it to build the road, so. But I don't know, I don't think it'd be that big anyhow, but you never know, I mean, you see a hole, we gotta crawl in and check it out. <laughs> Can't help it. Well, let's see what we got here. They tried to cover it up, obviously. They used a hole and pushed all this stuff in here, but hard to do that because it settles down fairly easily. <clears throat> oh, cool. There's some timbering and everything down there. Don't know how far we'll get, but looks pretty neat. Huh. Yeah, they pushed quite a bit of stuff in the entrance here to try to seal it up. Nice and cool in here. Huh. So this looks like this was the portal one time. Way back in here. Good chance it's all just covered up in here. That looks pretty neat though. It goes back up in there. No, I think I'm just breathing on the damn thing. So the oxygen can be bad here. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. So I don't think we can get in here. Damn, I think this thing's screwed up. Every time we go on a mine, it seems to be going off on me here. I'll just get it away from here for a sec. We're only a few feet in here. I don't see how the oxygen could be bad here. Let's see, we'll try to set it here. Five, four, two. That I'll stick it in my pocket. Pretty crumbly in here. Huh. So that's where the water is definitely. Hooked up the part of this. Well, a lot of this is really falling off the back here. Huh. Huh. Cool. Eh? What if I can push some of that stuff out of the way and get by there? Huh. Pretty neat, eh? I don't know how far we can get though. Looks solid up on top. That's a cribbing down here, obviously.
Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get a light in there. A little further in there. Huh. Well, there's trucks and everything in there. Huh. We're just gonna have to get wet. Hop in here. Well, I never expected this to go this far in. Huh. Wow. Just in that little hole. Going right underneath this road. Neat, eh? Oh, no, no waste rock to speak of even there. There, now she's going to be flooded low, I think. Huh. Higher level. Oh, it goes up quite a ways. Huh. Pretty fractured rock and everything though in there. Eh? This is kind of a rough shape in here. And it carries on, but I don't see how we're going to get on further back in there. So you can see, maybe we'll try going up on top of this. See if we can get up there a little further. Oh, that's pretty neat little mine, eh? Pretty old too. Lots of false floors. Oh, let's see if we can get up in there a bit. Oh. So that's all this water's running out of this, running in here in the creek and coming up the bank somewhere. full of water yeah I don't know if we can get much further this is kind of a little dangerous because you know see this all false floor here right but you know the other thing is we don't have very far to fall I mean you're only falling down there's tons of rock on there you're only falling down about eight feet or so to the bottom of the false floor so it's fairly stable above us the danger is we could step on something and fall. The false floor could fall through. But hey, look at that, there's tons and tons of rock on here. Now we're not going to get too far anyhow. Yeah. It does go through there, but it's too skinny for us to fit in there. But well, pretty cool just the same. Yeah. All right. Turn around and head back out. Pretty neat though. Yeah, like, I keep saying we're trying to get into these mines before they're all crumbled and completely shut. And that's what's, you know, happening in these places here. Look at that hand notch there. So, this is one that would have been pretty cool. Maybe only in a few years ago. But, maybe in a few more years, you'll be able to get this far. So. These mines are definitely not going to stay like this for long. Alright, so we're happy we were able to get this far. Obviously it went in quite a bit further. Pretty neat. And something I hadn't really expected, just from this little hole. Well that's the way it goes, you know. You see this big promising looking entrance somewhere, you think, oh well. It's gonna go in a long ways and it doesn't go anywhere and then you find a little hole somewhere. But this was a big, this was big at one time. But like I say, it's weird, there's no waste rock here at all. And like I say, probably the reason is they used it for road material. Pushed it all down with some cats or something. So we're making our way along to the top of the violin, or 
Viola, I guess it's called. There's lots of devil's club here. It's real thick. Not real thick here. Fairly thick, but there's lots of thick bush in here. It's pretty slow going, and we found the very top portion. There's a pit here. I don't know. It's probably caved in, I guess. You know, because it's facing... Uh, it's not facing into the mountain. It's facing down the hill, so we could probably walk into it a little further down. There's no point going down there. Well, that's, and the other thing is we don't have any rope, so if we go down there, we won't be able to get out, so. <laughs> We've reached the top of the workings of the viola here. I don't know if there's any adits in here. I remember seeing this really thick bush. Hal said it wasn't steep, but I can tell you it is. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They don't get much steeper than that, I don't think. I mean, that's even kind of tough to hike down for a spill pile. And we're seeing some interesting stuff, but it's always further down the hill. <laughs> I haven't found an adit here yet. Looks like there's a little shack here at one time. Not much of left of it here. There's quite a bit of uh, waste rock here. A little adit here, but uh, it's caved in. It doesn't look like there's maybe very much here because um, there isn't much of a waste rock pile here. But, you know, the tracks came out here, so they definitely did dump ore over the bank here. And what else do we see here? Just a little box here with some rail and stuff in it. Uh, maybe some rich ore. Or, who knows? So the road doesn't go any further this way. So this is just kind of a little test at it, I think. Nothing too exciting. Built a little bin here, I guess probably for ore. Maybe never used it. As we're making our way down, it's starting to look a lot better. You see like a railroad there. Look at all those cool ore carts down there. So, And uh, here we have an it right here that we might be able to get into. Have a look here. It's starting to look better all the time. Um, pretty small railway here. It's partially collapsed, but we might be able to get into here yet. Let's have a look. Looks like it, it went in here. And it collapsed, there's a little hole up there. So with any luck, we'll be able to get in that little hole. And that's kind of the way it always, uh, maybe not. <clears throat> well, we can't get in there anywhere. Let's see if this hole's opened up. And that's the way it always is. It's always kind of crappy around the collar because you got all this mineral stuff till you get into the rock, right? Mm, nope. No, it's just slid back from the, the bank slid here. So it's definitely filled up pretty solid here. Can't get under here. Well, as we carry on, we're seeing more and more artifacts here. There's a pretty cool old valve. There was a compressor shack here, because you see the piping from the exhaust. And the compressor would have sat on here. A few artifacts here. Shovels and, and the little track came to here. Now uh, there's a compressor line too, right? So you know for sure that was a compressor sitting here. But uh, the problem is with this ground here, it's uh, it's kind of a lot of gravel on top. Um, so everything seems to be kind of sloughed in. So pretty cool ore carts here. Uh, you know, not really old uh, welded ore carts. Nice looking carts. It could be in pretty reasonable shape. Um, interesting that the... Uh, the, well, there's, uh, the axles are gone and the wheels and stuff, so well, they're really almost in serviceable condition here. And here we'll have a look at the attic, but it looks to me like it's probably caved in. Or pretty close, if it's not caved in, it's pretty close. Uh, well, this is some of the other stuff that we see outside of this portal here. And the newer style drill bits there, the ends for the drill tips. And uh, some axles, wheels, just junk actually. Nothing that was, they're not spare parts or nothing, it's just scrap that they left here. And there's a building down there. It seems to be getting better as we go down. So this, uh, we still, you know, like we're still quite a long ways from the bottom, but here we're finding this orbin, pretty decent sized orbin. Presumably there would have been an added at this level where they dumped the ore into unless they brought it down by tram, which is also possible. 
Yeah, pretty decent sized bin here and I think they loaded trucks with it. So it seems to be in pretty good shape. So the other thing is there's a big track there. It's about as big as track as you see around the mine, but I don't see no portal or nothing. We're uh, below the bin and we found an attic here. It's kind of a neat looking skip car. Huh. You wouldn't expect that the attic would be below the bin. You'd think it'd be above there, but I'm sure there was a lot more attics, but the, like I say, it's so much gravel and stuff in here, everything's just caved in, so maybe we'll get lucky and get a little further in here. It's partially caved, but not completely. Get in a little ways at least. Let's see. Uh, once you get in a ways, you should get into some hard rock, hopefully. And yeah, it might be a little more stable. Problem so like gravel, it's like a big gravel pit here. Oh yeah, see, no, I think the air is pretty cold, but I'm not seeing it going in anyways. Really crumbly. Uh, we'll see. Maybe. Uh, pretty old stalls, look how rotted they are. Well, at least we're in the rock now. Huh? Sort of like rock, anyways. Rockish. <laughs> Looks a little better than the gravel we've been seeing everywhere else. A little stoped out area in here. And I'll keep going underneath here. <laughs> yeah. Starting to get a little harder. It's good. That must have been caved in for a long time because they had a little ladder there so they could get up there. There we go. Well, <laughs> maybe spoke too soon. Yeah, this is a short, just a short little drift, I guess. It ends right here. Oh yeah. That's another thing, Hal said. This was a gold mine. It's one of the few gold mines in this area, so. So you can see the sulfides in here. So yeah, looks like they're just getting out of a vein of sulfide here they're chasing and they quit. Okay, well let's see what else the viola will have to show us. Follow this uh, road up here and I thought it was kind of strange, you know, because from, uh, from there's a bunch of shacks there, it's pretty flat, which is unusual for roads. So I was thinking, well, maybe they had a and added up here and they uh, they brought cars down here but you know this is the old CPR line and sand and there's a piece of the track from the CPR so yeah for some reason I didn't pick that piece of track up that piece of rail up not very heavy rail you know it's not like the heavy rail that you're used to seeing on modern railroads pretty pretty light track actually there's another building down there, we'll get down there pretty quick. And uh, we're standing on the old railway line, the CP rail line. And I'm not sure if some of these buildings here might have to do with the railway or with the mine. So it makes sense, I mean the rail, uh, the railway went right through the middle of this mine so they would have picked the ore up out of here and uh, put it on the train. Loaded it on a train so they had some big ore bins or something so it looks like there's some, I don't know what's all. What's all here, but uh, yeah, a bunch of truck here and some shacks and might have something to do with the railway. Might not have been mine shacks at all. Been, uh, I'm not sure when the CPR was ripped up. It's quite a few years ago. More of these skip cars. Nice shape too, actually, you know. Huh. You know, they're for inclined shafts, right? Hauling ore up pretty steep inclined shafts. Okay, so this, that was to, to hook two ore cars together. Hmm. I don't know, this just kind of looks like it ends here. Yeah, it's always hard to say. Maybe a bit of, maybe it was just a spur. Maybe it joined the CPR track because it was kind of light, lighter track. That's actually quite likely. Yeah, that's what it probably did. This is probably the mine loaded the cars up here somewhere. And then, uh, they had a spur to the, the main line further up the road somewhere. 
huge waste rock pile. There's a lot of cubic meters of waste there. All kinds of parts of shacks all the way down this hill. There's some bricks there. And uh, this looks like another loading bin. It looks like a big loadout. Some type. I don't know how this ore was actually loaded out of here. We didn't see anything that looked like an adit from the air either, so I'm not surprised we didn't find an adit. Wow, found a miner's cabin. It's got a steel roof on it. It doesn't look to be in bad shape. I wasn't expecting to see this out in the middle of here. Oh. How will this girl would be? All kinds of tubing in here. And it has some tables. There's a little bit of uh, some old boots. Did a little bit of milling here at one time. Yeah, a little table. This was a gold mine, so you might have a little free gold in here. And they milled gold. No, it's just rats kind of taking it over now. Huh. There's a cool can. So red. Hmm. Nice job in this building. Yeah, this is an old table that they use for milling gold. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Can walk on it maybe. Hmm. Look at those old hinges and stuff. Man, yeah, not very many people bet you know this is here. Huh. Had electricity at one time. What the heck? That's an old washboard. Can you believe that? Let's pull that out of there. Pull the wash basin. Wash your clothes, eh? Huh. Oh, isn't that neat, eh? Huh. Oh, that's amazing. Use that for washing your clothes. And then there's an old, another old thing here. It's like a plunger. There's a wash base here. Close too. <laughs> yeah, that's an old thing for washing clothes too. So we got it all set up here for start Chinese laundry. <laughs> Oh, that was neat. Some neat little treasures. Yeah, some kind of a plunger you used to wash your clothes with. Old Chinese laundry here. <laughs> so this is another uh, loading place here. And uh, I don't know about my theory about the train siding here. We'll, uh, we'll keep testing that one. <laughs> but Almost looks like trains will pull in here and load that. Looks all high. It's pretty high. Trains or trucks? Not sure which. So there's a path going that way. I don't know where it goes. Pretty overgrown. Nice hiking trail. And that's what reminds of this bend. So we're going to head this way and head back towards Sandon. So the road's right there. So hopefully we can get down across the creek somewhere and get back to our truck and then we can drive up the mountain, back up the mountain and load the side by side up and go home. <laughs> so from the bottom of the mill there, the lowest part where I was at, there's a beautiful mountain bike trail along here. So I think I know where it goes, but we're just going to follow it. And it'll either take us back to Sandon or um, 
back to my pickup or to my side by side. So what a beautiful trail. Been a real tough day hiking up and down these real steep slopes and there's no way I was going to climb back up. Well, I prefer not to, I say no way. But uh, it's like a leisurely stroll going along this, uh, this trail. It was a pretty long day going over the viola there and we're just going to show you where we went and some of this stuff from the air uh really thick bush and it's, it's really hard to find your way around there uh, i know there's more buildings we didn't visit and uh, possibly more at it so we'll just kind of show you guys where we went in case you want to go for an adventure and uh, and go through this real thick bush and try to find some other stuff so this is the very top of the stope of the viola max so we hiked in from that road from you seen from the very beginning and that's the road that goes um, uh, down to another mine called the Alamo, it goes between Salmo and the Alamo. So we hike down from that road from San and Alamo, and this is the top of the Viola Mac as you go down. And you can see um, it's really steep. You can't really notice it in the drone from the top to the bottom. I'm not sure what the elevation is. And uh, we're, so we're just going to fly over it, show you some of this stuff, and show you some of the things we didn't see. So you can see that building in the very middle, the silver roof. Uh, that's where the washboard came out of. And um, so that just below that, there's an actual trail going from Three Forks um, kind of all the way to Sanon. It's a mountain bike trail. Here's another mine heading towards Sanon further to the south. We didn't get to that one. And just look at all those trails there. Uh, here's three other adits or something there. We didn't get to that. Um, there could be some openings there. Uh, that's just a little bit to the north of, uh, of where we went. You can see from the top of the... Of the screen to the bottom cross there that's where we where our path was we went to the top of the mountain to the bottom and if you look in the middle to the left there you see there's another building there by that clearing we didn't see that one so that's also an interesting place you could go um so all kinds of uh, it looks like there's lots of roads there so from the very bottom uh from the sandon road this is where uh, we saw that last um uh, big loadout facility there's the cabin that we went to with the with the washboard in it there might be more stuff underneath there. I didn't dig that out. It was pretty dusty there. The rats were in there. And uh, now from the very bottom, we're following our way all the way up the top. And you can see there's a, just a mountain of ore or uh, waste rock there, but uh, we didn't see that many adits. Uh, right in the middle of the picture, there's the one adit we did go into that was collapsed. We couldn't get very far. It was a small, fairly small adit. All that material never came out of there. So I don't know if we've missed stuff or it's buried. So, uh, you know, a kite could spend a lot more time hiking around there. And uh, so this is really cool. We're going to show you this building. We weren't going to, but we're going to show you. Look at that building to the left there. That's near the very bottom. We didn't go, we saw, just saw that from the drone. We never saw it from the air. And possibly there's an adit there because to the right of that, you can see all that waste rock coming down. So it'd be interesting to see uh, what that building is too. So. We may go back there and look at this here. This is uh, right below the sand in the road, below the viola. And you see a whole bunch of stuff coming out of the hill there. So maybe that's another out there too. So 